Hey guys, alrighty, let's go ahead and show you how to flash AOKP ROM Android 4.4.2 onto your Nexus 5. So first things first, as always, um, I'm going to have two links in the description down below this video, one of which is actually going to be to the AOKP ROM file itself. So when you go there, just make sure you download the latest nightly. And I personally recommend you download it from the goo.im servers. Uh, as for me, the other one was a little bit slow. Um, the next file you're going to be downloading is the parent Android G apps package. Don't worry. It's not a special G apps package. It's just got all the main um, G apps applications that you need, uh, more specifically the Play Store and Play Services. So once you've got both those files, go ahead and just connect your Nexus 5 to your PC and go ahead and just drag and drop those files across into your internal storage. Once you've done that, go ahead and power your device off like I've done so here. So the next thing we're going to want to do is obviously boot into recovery mode so that we can actually flash the ROM itself. So once we've powered off our device, we're going to be pressing and holding the power button and the volume rocker simultaneously until we get to this magic screen here. Now once you're in this magic screen here, you're going to go ahead and use your volume rocker down twice to get to recovery mode and to enter recovery mode we're going to be pressing the power button as the enter button so we'll just wait for that to boot into recovery i'm using twrp and you guys should too so we'll just wait for this to boot into it in just a moment. There we go. There it is. Alrighty. So first things first, what I always recommend everybody do before you actually wipe your device is make sure and confirm that those files have in fact been pushed over to your internal storage. So what we're going to do is for you guys, you're going to click on the install button and then you'll probably just locate the file there. Um, for me specifically, I'm actually going to be using this little dongle piece here. So that's where I have my uh, micro SD card stored. And uh, I've been asked this question a thousand times. If you're interested in getting one of those, it's meenova.com, M-E-E-N-O-V-A.com. It's about $12. Um, so anyway, so for me, I'm gonna be going into USB OTG and I'm just gonna double check that I have in fact um, put that file on my Nexus 5 here, ROMs and where are we looking here? AOKP, okay, so there it is right there. So we do in fact have it, and I'm gonna double check that I in fact have uh, my GX package as well, which is located in the root area here. And as we can see, uh, parent Android G app stock 4.4.2. And um, the date was the, I believe it was the 11th the last time this was updated. So we now we now know that we have both files so we can go ahead and it's safe to wipe the device. So as you can see there, I just simply clicked on wipe and then um, I just go ahead and swipe to wipe. <laughs> swipe to wipe. Um, alrighty, so, well that was quick. So now we can go back and I can actually hit the home button, go back into install, and I am going to be um, scrolling back down to my Nexus 5, back into ROMs here, and I'm gonna be locating my AOKP ROM, which is right there. And because this is um, TWRP, you can actually add more zips. So what we're gonna do is click on add more zips, and I'm actually gonna go back up to the top so I can locate my GEPS package again, because I, I wanna add that in there as well. There it is, the 4.4.2. Go ahead and add that, and as you can see, it says file two of 10 max, which means we have both those loaded up. So the ROM is gonna flash first, and then the GEPS package is gonna flash afterwards. So I'm just going to go ahead and swipe to confirm. Bam, just like so. And uh, we'll wait for that to flash. This will take just a moment. It should be pretty quick and we'll come back as soon as we're finished. Alrighty, and we're back. And as you can see, we're all flashed and ready to go. So at this point, literally all you have to do is just simply click on reboot system now. And that's basically it. So from this point on, you're gonna start seeing your device rebooting. It's gonna get into the boot, um, booting up screen, but it's probably gonna take a little while. Like every single ROM, the very first boot always takes a bit. So be patient. It could even take upwards of five minutes, though I doubt it'll take that long. Anyway, anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos as well. But that's it for now. Thanks as always for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.